Hey, what's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums, and tonight I'd like to bring you the third episode of the Fish Keepers Screw-Ups. So, uh, I'd like to preface this because I think there's been uh, some things going around. The screw-ups that I'm talking about are my screw-ups, and I'm hoping that they're everybody's screw-ups, because if I've made them, I'm sure a thousand people have made them, or more. So, let's get to it. Episode 3, these screw-ups are all about water change screw-ups. Now, how many of you guys out there have tried to do too many water changes at once? How many people, guys, girls, have a bunch of tanks? And how many of you have like an Aquion or a Python water changer where you suck the water out, put the water back in? same you know 25 50 foot hose attached to your sink you have it in one tank filling up and you're texting on your phone or you go out to have a cigarette by the way one month no smoking good job mass aquariums and all of a sudden you forget or you run around or you're like oh shit i gotta do this next one do this next one and you're bringing the hose over before the thing just piles over, there's water everywhere, and you were standing literally right there when it all happened. So, fish keep a screw up. You know, you gotta pay attention to when your python's filling up your tank, because I know I don't, most of the time. I try to, but it comes out like crazy. Next thing, while you're filling up your tank, and it's overflowing all over the place, are you dosing all your right stuff? Do you forget to dose anything? Do you fill up your tank because you're doing multiple tanks and forget to dechlorinate the water, add your fertilizers, uh, whatever you're dosing in the tank? I've done it. I'm sure you have done it. Big thing. I have all my tanks on power strips. So when I'm doing a water change, I don't have to unplug 40 different things. Heaters, circulation pumps, filters, Protein skimmers, whatever you're running, run them all on one strip, and you hit the off button. Shuts everything off. Now, you're doing your water change, your nice gravel vac in, you're cleaning the glass. I mean, everything looks pristine. You fill the water up and just move on to the next tank. Did you forget to press the on button? I have. I'm sure you have. Then, you go upstairs, you're nice cuddling in bed turning the TV on, you feel so proud of yourself. You got so much stuff done. You accomplished so many water changes, so much fish tank maintenance. Guess what? You forgot to press the on button. You go downstairs the next morning, feed the fish. You're all excited. Fish are like gasping for breath or the water's cloudy or it just doesn't look right. Guess what? You forgot to press on. Now, does this happen all the time? No. Does this happen every other time? No. Does this happen once in a great while? No. Maybe once or twice, three times, here and there, over the years and years and years. But everybody's done it. Everybody's got psyched up about water changes and doing things, doing that, doing a million things at once, and they forgot to press the on button or forgot to take the tube out of the tank and the tank overflows. Or maybe even they forgot to just dump the water in the filter and then when they start it up the filter just never catches up never catches up never fills up and now they're running dry and their filter motor burns out or their impeller spins out of control so I've done it I know most of you done it leave some comments tell me what happens with your water changes have you forgot to turn stuff on have you forgot to take the tube out of the thing out of the fish tank and it's been overflowing like crazy. Leave your comments. I know I've done it because I'm telling you I've done it so I know you've done it. This is Mike from Mass. Fish Keeper Screw Up Episode 3. I'm out!